Hi and welcome to my tutorial about creating fake human skin. Now, I created all of this skin <laughs> for last year's Halloween uh, party, uh, where, where the theme was Ed Gein. Maybe you know the story, maybe not, but you need a lot of fake skin for a theme party like that. I did not have a tutorial like this, so I really needed it and I had to like go about it, finding my own way ended up uh, being amazing but i just wanted to share my experiences with you and how you could come about to creating uh, things like what you see right here bear in mind that it takes hours if you want to well at least if you want to make 15 meters as i needed but it is fun um so well have fun with it now. What you need is just plain cotton fabric from the beginning. Now I just needed something lighter to, to create like Caucasian skin. So I started by drawing up lines uh, on my fabric to create these like bigger, uh, bigger patches uh, of skin. Um, next I drawed on numbers uh, so that it would be easier for me to assemble the pieces in the end to create for instance tablecloth. Next, just cut it out and and, um, uh, and then you'll be ready for coloring um, in a more like human skin like and not this fabric color. So I started off just um, by wetting a sponge uh, which had a bit of a red coloring on it, just like acrylic paint. And then I just draw it like loosely all over the fabric. This would then take the um, like the markings from the fabric that my fabric was actually placed upon, uh, which would uh, make it more well less plain and more like uh, organic, uh, organic if you could say. Uh, bear in mind not to paint it too red, as it will just um, stand out too well dark in a non-skin way. Um, next I blended uh, some darker colors. Um, I believe I used um, black, brown and yellow um, to create like the uh, the outer edges. Uh, note how far out on the edges I actually put them on. I'm not the best at blending colors, but I just needed something dark from the for the outer edges of the skin. Next I wanted to put on red um, well, for the blood. Um, I had this image in mind of uh, of the skin which was torn off a body and thereby was uh, like really blue, bruised and, and bloody um, on the edges. Um, you will also see later on that I put uh, on like a, a blue or yellow just to have these like markings of, of, of bruises. Um, I do it really like I don't know, randomly, because uh, it's not supposed to be be pretty. It's to, supposed to be um, rough. You can you can use um, all sorts of t uh, of tools, um, of brushes and so on. Here you can see uh, I'm just using my fingers to dab on the like the blue or blue um, bruises. Um, I can. You should find like a mixture of having things wet top but not too wet not not drenched uh, but it should be able to like blend into each other also by using your sponge now i've just added this video to show you how not to do <laughs> because i needed so many patches of fabric i wanted to do like something quickly so i did like this like fabric and well like a uh, factory like where i just like put on the the black markings and then the red ones but but fortunately the 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 black markings would dry up too much um before i could put on the red which meant that i couldn't blend the colors uh, into each other so don't do that i've just added this <laughs> as a mistake not to copy okay when they have all dried up um you will then place it in the correct order this is where you need the numbers when you have placed them correctly, pin them together. Like if you like me like to sew, then you would always place your uh, pieces of fabric right side to right side. Don't do that here. Place them on top of each other. Remember you're creating skin and not clothes. Um, put it in your, your machine. Uh, I think I used either black or red um, sewing thread. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it with the latex as you can see here and next a black thread uh, on top 
Now for the first layer of latex, um, just pour it on evenly. Um, it, it, the main thing is just to cover it. Remember to wear a mask, this is toxic. Now as for the details, um, I started off just by doing like really simple like tattoo like things. Later on I would find a vintage um, simple tattoos and then uh, paint it on. They were much better than what you see here. And then for the nipples. He collected nipples, that's why I also made nipples. Mine were not pretty, but they looked sort of like nipples. I will not advise you on how to do that. You will have to find your own way. Again, just do use like leftover um, latex, latex as you can see here, and then just like stick it on. It is really sticky, uh, so it will stay there. Um, I wanted to create this like kind of like like melted uh, or scar tissue uh, for the skin so again it should just be random not do, do not make it perfect and then for the second layer of latex okay so here you can see how the color has also changed it has become a bit darker due to the latex now you would like to have it more organic like and not too like straight or, or plain so put a piece of fabric for instance a dish towel on top and then just crumple it together remember the piece of fabric if you do it without it it will stick too much together and you risk just tearing uh, the latex off and create holes do not do that and uh, then it's time for the third or maybe just the last layer of latex dab it on with a sponge what that will create is like a smaller um, smaller bubbles which is quite similar to to the pores of your skin um as you can see here the lines of the like the square lines from the sponge they will disappear as soon as the latex will dry so don't worry about that just dab it on just evenly all over the place and then just let it dry now again it is sticky so what you need to do when it's done uh, done drying you'll just pour some starch just, just like a potato starch all over it or maybe talcum now you will need to have these like um, like sewing thre threads on top of it just like you know frankenstein like you will need like a thick needle like an embroidery uh, needle but with a it should be really sharp and then use also a thimble or something that you can pull through it's really really thick to get through so what you see here is actually i can't get through the latex so the latex has now lifted up from the fabric this is not good so you're kind of like have to pinch through it um, what I ended up doing uh, was actually just to like pre-punch holes uh, all the way through this also made it quicker um, so that it wouldn't happen but that's about it um, here you can see some of the um, the amazing results from smaller to bigger tablecloth uh, I also use it used it here for my for my couch. You can see at the end um, there is actually a face. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you maybe you can also pillowcase. Also here for my table, which is a great setting for my cake with um, with my dental cake, and I made so many things from it. I really hope you'll have fun and you'll do much better than I did. Maybe also just from from the knowledge I've gained, uh, my experiences. Um, well, no matter what, have fun, have a happy or creepy Halloween, um, and um, yeah. Well, that's it for now. Bye-bye.